Hey everyone! Today's video is a how-to video on Cusadam bromelias. This is originally designed by Isa Klein and she's a great person. Her blog is going to be in the description box and first and foremost, this uh, Kuzudama needs 30 pieces of paper and they should be double-sided uh, paper, either origami or other type of paper. I've not edited much this video because I want you to be able to follow. First and foremost, start with a piece of paper. This is in a bag that I also made. The link will be here for a how-to video. And start by taking them off the paper, the bag actually. Now, you can see that this has to be double-sided for it to even make sense uh, aesthetically. I'm going to start with the color side upwards and going to fold in half um, vertically. I'm using my trusty folding utensil device <laughs> and I'm going to unfold this and fold horizontally. You can pinch it, but I rather fold it totally just because that's my personal preference. Now unfold and fold the edges to the center using the pinch marks. So fold the halves in half like so towards the pin, uh, the, in this case the folded lines. Okay, a little trick here. You see that uh, folded area in the center? That's going to be your stopping point for the third step, which is valet fold the corners out, uh, like so. And from one corner to another, carefully, and you know, just fold the corners out, like so. Then you can use whatever you're using to fold better to pinch the corners even more. I'm using the the, the little red thing um, so I don't over fold I guess. It's really good if you can't really avoid uh, folding beyond the line which is good for beginners. Now do all four sides Alright, now that that is done, you can see how it looks like. It almost looks like a little uh, shirt. Anyway, 
um, turn over and valley fold um, wrapping around the corners the, the little triangle areas that you see like so Okay, almost done. Now, you are going to fold the, the edges, the in this case the top right edges, downwards along the, the side edges. Does that make sense? I hope it does because it does to me. So here is what I'm doing. Towards the center crease that I've done before. Do the same to the the other edge. Okay, so this part is really similar to the Sonov uh, model, in which case you have you have to fold in half towards the center making a V and then fold the corners to the center downwards like so it's very easy just look at what I'm doing now mount fold and unfold but keep it with a little dimension like so so you can see that this is the flap you have to make the triangle out of this and you can push the flap outwards like so um, but for now, just keep it slightly tridimensional, just because that's easier for you later on. Now, for the variation, which is this little guy over here, which is one of my favorites, actually. And here comes the tutorial, I guess. So you see the unit finished without variations but you want to fold the corners inwards and this is this little part here you can actually see let me show you better with this uh, utensil and I'll fold it downwards like so just so it's easier if one of you guys has difficulties folding something straight you can use like a ruler to do it it's just a little trick and then push it down and pinch and you can do that on the other side like I am going to be doing And now fold uh, slightly. You're done. Now for the part where you have to put all the 30 pieces together. See how it goes. It's very intuitive. This is how it should look. And good luck because this is really fun and great. Now you have to have more three flaps to make like five out of the model you mean I by that I mean the five units and you can push them up and it's very pretty 
and of course you have to use glue. I'm using a cotton tip uh, to recycle a bit of glue because you don't really need too much. And then this is how you glue these parts together. I understand they can be a little bit tricky for beginners, so here is a little example. Now after you're done, you'll have this model and I hope you enjoy guys. Please like my video or subscribe if you want to see more origami videos. Bye!